Hey guys, and welcome back to Armed and Dangerous. When we last left off, we were tasked with the mission of saving a lamb, and well, that didn't exactly go to plan now, did it? Uh, we ended up wearing most of the lamb. Anyway, we did uh, use some sly tactics to get what we wanted from the peasants, and... Now we have to clear the road to the mountain village. So, let's go. These hills are controlled by grunts and a Q112 eliminator. They've taken over some of the peasants' houses. Your mission, destroy six bullseye houses and the Q112. Hmm, the Q112, you say. Do not blow up civilian houses, the ones without bullseyes. Yeah, so this is one of the missions where we're not allowed to destroy anything we want which is quite sad so let's go to town so if we destroyed that building for a inst for instance we would get in trouble and we get in like an instant game over so you have to be a little bit careful with your explosive weapons however this one we have to take out so nicely illustrated and this is actually a type of mission that we will get used to because we have to do this quite a few times. Now the Eliminator Doodad is sort of a boss, I guess. But I don't think he's too bad from what I remember. Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Rome, you panic too much, lad. You panic too much. I also have to be a little bit quiet because I remembered um, I need to listen out for the door because... My missus' new processor should be here soon. Which is the same processor that I have. Or will have when I get my motherboard. Right. Okay. And she got it at a good price as well. She paid £25 less for it than I did. So, hey. Win for her. Nice. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I just murder everybody. There's some snipe. Well, they're not exactly snipers. They're just... Gits with bows. What weapons do we have? Oh, we only have the machine gun here. Hmm, that's not exactly brilliant, is it? Right, let's destroy that. There's a lot of artillery just around that corner, which could potentially cause us some nasty problems. Alright. Ah, hello. You do have to be careful. These enemies will... They will put enemies absolutely everywhere. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my ass. How are you still coming out of that building? There is nothing there for you to come out of, you little bastard. Um, now, this is like a ooh, random barrel there. These guns are evil. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I, yes, he's gone. He is not gone. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can see just how bad those guns are and if you thought that we would be fighting lots of those in the coming missions you'd be right okay time for the pub have you been to shaggy field most beautiful sheep in the world i have not oh hello roman uh, we were just talking about uh... no i have not been to shaggy field actually and i do not want to know what you are doing in shaggy field you gain the black hole yep this is an interesting grenade, one of my favourites. It is, as you would imagine, it is a portable black hole that you can throw. It's really cool. I like it a lot. We want the mortar and we definitely want the shotgun. Okay, let's get out of it. Oh, hey friend, have a shark. Ah, it's nice to have some weapons. Some new weapons. Ah. Hear that. There is actually an alarm ringing, which is not great. We're going to have to try and get around that. I think it's around the corner there. Ah, okay. So it does indeed seem that these guys do restore their, bo uh, their gunners when you move on. Shit, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, okay, we got that down. Right, now these are also gun emplacements, which are really not nice. 
and it actually took oh god I'm shooting my mate it took me a little while to realize what those things actually were let's get some sharks out here that'll do see if we can nuke this thing there we are give us some breathing space all right come on boys let's go um, let's take that out I can't remember what comes out of those little buildings yeah looks like some kind of mortar and as we know Rome is basically allergic to explosives which is bad and considering the quantity of explosives you have to deal with like that perfect example I forgot about that gun turret on the roof above us <sighs> hey guys don't forget about the gun turret on the roof above you all right must take those guns out you get yours oh man I really hate these gun turrets they're the bane of your lives because you can't really notice them there we go that works that works really well oh wow getting shot from like miles away yeah the collateral damage from those explosives is huge as well oh as you can see there now aiming this thing isn't exactly an exact science but we're seeing what we can do here oh shit okay that's fine that's fine everything is fine everything is good everything is under control honest I swears Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Doesn't quite have the reach. There we go. Okay, cool. <sighs> right, I think we need to go back to the pub, to be honest. Because we've taken a hell of a beating here. Really don't want to get killed. Now remember, every time we go back to the pub, it saves our progress. So remember that. Now on the PC, you can quick save. And on the console version, you actually have a quick load. But I don't know if there's any way of quick saving the game. I'm not really sure. But then, as long as you're careful, it's not too bad. Okay, right. Let's nuke this thing. Two rounds, does it? There we are. Oh, God. We're a man down. Okay, and there is the big nasty bollock himself but luckily we can lob mortars at this guy there we go have a couple of those for yourself my friend oh yep and the black hole bomb that'll do why not I don't think the machine gun actually hurts him I don't think the black hole did much either to be honest nope machine gun is ineffective um, and we don't have any other weapons Bollocks. Yep, yep, yep. Run, run, run from the T-800. At least, he kind of looks like a T-800. Kind of. Ish. But not really. Run, run, run. Alright, Rome. We're going to have to get tactical. At least there's plenty of health everywhere. Okay, okay. Q, if you could help out in some meaningful way, I would appreciate it. Or, you know, not. Alright, let's grind out some more enemies. There we go. <sighs> Good thing these guys drop ammo for us. Um, guys? Guys? When you want enemies to spawn, they won't. Typical. Ooh. Or so I say. Wait, they were doing melee combat then. I didn't realise they did that. That's quite cool. Okay. Okay, back in business. Boom! There we go. <laughs> that indeed is the end for you, buddy. Get fucked. Alright. I wasn't brilliant. But we'll take it for now. We really need some more explosives. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. So these two buildings are marked for death. Got ya. You destroy these two. So there is actually quite a useful little machine gun here. I'm definitely going to take advantage of said machine gun. Nice. Alright. 
Now, I wonder if this would actually damage the uh, Q112 or whatever he was called. I would say probably yes. I think those heavy machine guns pretty much destroy everything. Now, just check. That doesn't have a bullseye behind it, does it? Nope. All right, Roman, we're clear. We're clear. Let's get back to the pub so we can save it. Because we don't want to die after all that. And that can happen. <laughs> the amount of times you'll be wandering along, minding your own business, and then some sneaky bastard will come out of nowhere. Who said that? You. Oh, hello. See what I mean? These guys grow like freaking weeds, I tell ya. Okay, let's grab that. And back to the pub. At least going back to the pub will restock our ammo as well. Although it looks like our ammo is pretty much restocked. Oh, hello. Look at this. You sneaky little buggers. Well, that ain't cricket. Hmm. That was... Oh. Oh, I didn't know you could go this way. How interesting. Oh, that's clean house. Oh, well. You know, if we die, we die. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Oh, okay. Yep, we're going to go save it. We're going to go save it because we have those mortars to deal with. Oh, you little fuck. I thought you was Q for some reason. Boy, am I stupid. Right, to the pub, fellas. We're going to restock on alcohol and weapons. That appears to be the Lionheart's favourite. Alcohol and weapons. Hey, not a terrible combination, let's be honest. <sighs> Much better. That does actually restore our black hole bomb as well. Which is nice to know. I don't know, Q. I don't know how many of these guys there is. But we've murdered thousands of them so far. Especially when they attacked uh, Fiork Village or whatever it was called. And I want to know where we got that cannon from anyway. Or am I thinking about this too much? Probably thinking about this too much. Okay. And again. Yes. Right, back up. Back up. Oof. Got a bloody nest of them up there. Oh, man. <laughs> See the roof take off. Oh, it's delicious. It's glorious. Right. Okay. Is that them? I think so. Who's them? Oh. Okay. That suddenly ended. I was hoping to get some more action there, but whatever game. Okay. So, um, we got a lot of accidents there, actually. And 50% accuracy? Wow. I'll take that. Alrighty, moving swiftly on. Ah, we're almost up. Yes, 100,000 bounty now. Nice. Hey, <laughs> just keep walking. Hey, you're the lion heart, aren't you? I'm Lily, a big fan. Delighted to make your... I've been expecting you. Hey? Here, come with me. <laughs> hey. No, oh, Jesus. Listen, Lily. I mean, thanks for showing us around and all, but that kid is speaking of the future. Be gone! There's a soothsayer up. Uh, why are we here? Listen. This time, I told you of the Majorcan prophecy foretold in the Great Book of Rule. Oh, not again. It's all he ever talks about. His forge's invasion. A great darkness has quieted this land into the pitiful moans of a poverty, plague, and famine. Hope itself is in its last dying breath. You bloody well got that right. <laughs> uh, but a day is approaching, dear friends. What day? The day when the four protectors will steal the book from King Forge and fulfill the Majorcan prophecy. What prophecy? And what do these protectors look like? One is a large metal giant. Another is a true warrior. Then there is a smelly old man and a really ugly rat. <laughs> they will fulfill the prophecy by taking Midden's flower of innocence to the sacred ruin of Jerusalem. It is here where our future will be decided. Guys, 
bonkers. No telling me. Master Caper, they're here. A beloved lion heart. For five years they have been stealing from Forge and giving to the people. It is now time for them to achieve the ultimate height. The books have ruled. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like to be healed. Good idea, Giant. Approach! <laughs> I'll make a prediction, laddie. I see big brown boxes in your future. <laughs> <laughs> Sorted. Let's go. I like the fact that we're kind of anti-heroes, you know. I do like it. Roman, gotta save those peasants. Save the mountain villagers. The king has kidnapped people from the mountain village. Find them, follow your compass, and return them to their houses, the ones with glowing doormats. Your mission, rescue five peasants and return them home. Destroy all the king's rocket towers. Tip, using forge cannons will help with the rocket towers. You can only carry three peasants at one time. Yes. Yeah, we're going to go save the peasants. Don't worry about it. These towers are kind of annoying, but they're not exactly the end of the world. Oh, Christ. We do have the rocket launcher, though. And this rocket launcher is probably the best weapon in the game. Because ammo is plentiful, and it locks onto everything. And it's just amazing, really. It's point and die. Or fire and forget, as we like to say in these parts. What's that? Oh, this, that, yes, this is the Vindaloo rocket launcher. And that was a Vindaloo upgrade. And what that does, instead of it firing two missiles at once, it now fires four missiles. All for the same ammunition cost. So, yeah, this thing is meaty, to say the least. Right, what are we dealing with? Uh, hey, friend. Uh,. Bob the peasant. My hand is not anywhere near your ass. Right, this is how you carry peasants. Yes, don't question it. Just accept it. It is video game logic. <laughs> they just gravitate around us. What? Are you like your stomach better inside you? Well, that's too freaking bad, Milado. Look how good this weapon is. I mean, come on. Honestly. It just nukes everything. I think each shot is about as powerful as a grenade as well. So, yeah. She's good. She's good. All right, boys. Let's go to work. Nice. Do you guys ever learn? Like, we're the lion hearts, for Christ's sake. Ooh. You thrown a grenade, you little bastard. I don't know how much, grenade, how much damage that grenade actually did, to be honest. Oh, look at him. He's just, like, stumbling away. Oh, yeah, I don't think you're allowed those contraptions. You're a little bit unpredictable with them, to say the least. Uh, sniper, eh? Do we have the rifle? We actually do. Huh. Yeah, you can see, like, the rifles is utterly useless. It is just beyond a joke. Especially when you can have the rocket launcher, which locks onto everything. Including uh, snipers. So, there's the forge tower, raining death on us. Ah, that could have been bad. Alright, come on boys, take these guys down. We need them. Thank you. As long as they keep generously supplying us with rockets. <laughs> it just felt like a sack of shit. Uh, we're good. Oh. We can drop a peasant off here. There you go, buddy. Because we're the good guys? Are we the good guys? I think we're supposed to be the good guys. Sometimes I question whether we're actually, you know, the good guys, but... Hey. They always say history is written by the victor. So... If we're victorious, I guess we can make up whatever the hell we want. Alright. Oh, God. That was nasty. We really need some... We need some missiles. We don't have any missiles. 
so I guess we're gonna have to do that. Ugh. Game. Oh, oh yeah, you can actually just shoot these things with the machine gun, which is interesting. In fact, those towers don't even seem to be that dangerous, to be honest. All right. Good to know, I guess. Where are you? Hey, for oh, you little fuck. Guys, seriously, when there's a guy behind us peppering us in the arse with bullets, please turn around and shoot them. I'm just saying. It's not hard. I don't know where these guys la learnt the art of warfare. It certainly wasn't from any reliable text. Alright. Falling like flies. Not bad, men. Not bad. Right, let's go take out some more of these towers. Ah, oh, there's a peasant to save. Ooh, and there's the pub. Just what we wanted. Oh, we, <laughs> I like the way we approach the pub. And then we just get loads of rockets. Just what we wanted. Ouch. 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 Okay. Let's light this up. How's that? Not bad. Come on. Ooh. I guess he really did want to be the rocket man, huh? Well, he got his wish. And I th think that's everybody dead. Right, let's check the pub. There's always good stuff in here. Have you been Ooh. To Shaggy Field? Most beautiful sheep. Yeah, we're not going to listen to you talk about your sheep, sir. But we do have the topsy-turvy uh, bomb, which we haven't used yet, actually. Which Maybe we should. Yes, that's a good idea. In fact, uh, I haven't used this since I played this originally. Because I usually forget about the special weapons. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what this does. Oh, the wife's going to be livid. Why? What have you done? What have you done to upset your wife? Yes. Yes, he is. Apparently. I haven't been this high since 1974. I... Right. Let's use this. Whoa! <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, what? That sniper didn't get. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't know they had kidneys. Well, now you do. Learn something every day. <laughs> that is cool. I'm a fan. Come on, guys. Ooh, there we go. Paint the place with their guts. All right. Sniper, huh? Get the hell out of here. Right. Uh, so we need to find someone to go into that house. We do not have anyone. Hmm. This is a sad day indeed. Really, guys? Have you not seen that I have the power to turn the world upside down? Quite literally. What the fuck is... Someone threw Sean at us. Not really sure why that happened, but hey. We're not here to wonder why. We're just here to make them die. There we go. Literally just needed one bullet in his face to kill him. <sighs> right. Anybody around here? No. Well, there's three peasants left, so potentially we could just run around and capture all the ones that are left. Because you can hold three at once. I guess the gravitational belt that we're wearing that makes them stick to us only has the power to hold three, which is curious. Let's unleash hell on you, on you. Oh man, look at this. Oh, I love the rocket launcher. I love this. Just disgusting amounts of power. We must be careful with how we wield this power and totally not flatten every single building that we see. Come here, buddy. Not touching your fucking ass, dirty peasant ass. Ooh. Well, the rocket towers are all gone. That was quick and painful. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Jesus. Was that you, Jones, throwing those frickin' explosives? Probably. Pretty sure that is Jones. Q just throws cups of tea around, which is pretty decent of the fella, to be honest. Ah, we have rockets and a peasant. And the token. We might as well collect it, because we can see it. There you go, rescue. <clears throat> well, we're not rescued yet. Oh, it's the Mona Lisa. 
Uh, I think we'll die if we drop down there. I think you can get full damage in this game, which is not great. Ooh. Oh, it's you guys. Oof. Almost horribly murdered my own men, which I'm pretty sure you actually can't do. So, there's that. Right, where is... Where's the last person then? Hmm. Anybody see a dirty, smelly old peasant anywhere? No? Okay. Good thing we have this compass. Ah. Up here. Ah, yeah. I, I remember this guy, actually. I remember you hiding up here, you bastard. Oh, you one. Yep. <laughs> yep, I caught one. I did. Honest. Oh, boy. Right. So I'm going to walk these guys back. I'll see you then. Oh, wait. Actually, we might have some guys to murder along the way. That's jolly nice of them to donate their bodies to give us something to do. You know, the graphics of these peasants... It, it, do you know what that reminds me of, actually? Um, if anyone played the original Black and White... A very old God game. Uh, one of Peter Molyneux's games, no less. Yeah, they kind of remind me of the very basic, low polygon count models from that. That was a great game, actually. Black and white. I could never understand it myself. I would think I was way too young when I played it. But I wouldn't mind to give it another go. That's for sure. Okay. Populous is another game that I used to love. But again, I never really understood it. Because you don't have direct control over your men. Which is something I never liked. You can only guide them. And quite often they, well, didn't do what you wanted. <laughs> At least that was my experience. Okay. Boop. Yes, we know. We know, Q. You have to be a good man to be in this man's army. Definitely not evil rogues out for our own good. Surely not. Definitely uh, not the sort to only do good when it's in our interest. No. Okay. Who would live in a place like this anyway? Who would live in a place like this? It does look very drab. But I don't know why we're helping these people. Okay. We just are. That's the law. That's the law of the land. There's evil king evil person and evil people and there are good people and that is us great job the king will be furious you have destroyed his rocket towers breaking control of the mountains now off you go up the mountain to dick turpin village oh jesus christ okay wow we caused a lot of collateral there oofed no matter. Ooh. Our bounty is slowly increasing. I, I, I want to see those numbers raise. They're rookie numbers for sure. What do you mean they destroyed it? They surprised us, sire. <laughs> and who are you? Sire, this is Brother Ingmar, one of the Wildwood monks. Have you unlocked the book yet? Uh, not yet, sire. While under the locking spell, the book continues to appear as the Great Book of Basket. <laughs> but we are only days away from unlocking it. And we're in some pretty fabulous baskets for your lordship. I forgot to mention, the locking spell has had some strange effects on the monks. They have a newfound love of, well, basket weaving. <laughs> if your lordship so pleases, I brought you one. Oh, yeah, this is just a prototype. Later, who knows? Baskets as big as a house. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> and Rexus, Dick Turpin Village, sire. We are preparing to attack. Which means we're preparing to defend. Excellent. Welcome to our village. Uh, Lily has told us of your quest. <laughs> we thank you for helping our people. The Majorcan prophecy is our only hope. Uh, great. 
Um, how do we get out of mm -hmm. here? Off to set up the defenses then? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Today's battle will be a great one. And if you are to die on the battlefield, your memory will live on forever. Okay, that's it. What the bloody hell are you on about? What battle? By the king's forces. They're preparing to sack our village. When are they supposed to be here? <laughs> yeah, some heroes. Defeated them yet? Okay, lads. What are we gonna do? What kind of defenses do you have? Well, we have Henry. Henry? My grandfather. He's the oldest soldier in the village. <laughs> We're safe. He's awfully thin. Yes, he doesn't speak much. <laughs> Quick, Grandfather, come outside! What? Who are you? Grandfather, we need your help! You are not my grandfather! <laughs> Can you handle a gun? Jimmy! Oh! He'd come and pick me up for a drive in the country. But I told Annie Ma, oh, no, 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 no. Jimmy can't drive. He only two year old. Oh, this. <laughs> okay, anyone else? Preferably. Late. Oh, dear. Excuse me, sir. We do have a short patrol. There's a village gardening robot. We are here to serve you, sir. Okay. Look, the enemy's approaching. What do you suggest? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we can plant a hedgerow. Ah, hedgerow. <coughs> yes, with some myrtle and maybe a row of geraniums. Sounds good. I mean, it's something, right? Oops, and that. Is the doorbell. Can you do anything with them? Uh, I'll try, but I can't promise anything. Sorry, we're not programmed for that kind of. Okay, soldiers, let's move out. Uh, good. You defend the. I'm sorry, civilian. I can't talk now. We have a crisis here. Why? Yes, keep back. And the processor has arrived. What timing that was. Um, right, anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. We are on half an hour. When we return, we're going to have another village defense. The defense of Dick Turpin. And I'm a little bit annoyed I missed that cutscene because it's quite funny. Hmm. Anyway, till then guys, thanks for watching.